All right, hi there everybody. So this isn't your usual uh, broadcast. Um, today's a very special occasion. It's my uh, FMA, well, Filipino martial arts instructor's birthday today. And uh, here I am just uh, uh, waiting for a lift to get to, to get to his party. So I thought uh, on the way there, I'd, uh, I'd get him a, a, little, a little something. Although it was a little bit lastminute.com. Uh, so I... Um, so I stopped over at a Filipino shop and I got him something called pan de coco, pan de coco, you know, with a more Filipino accent. And uh, yeah, these are these are buns that are filled with uh, grated coconut, um, which is absolutely, which is really, really nice. You know, I just wish. Uh, I mean, I can show this to you, but it certainly tastes a lot better than what it looks. I mean, from here, it just looks like I oh, know another bread bun, but these are these are great. And um, and I got him some uh, so what's known as uh, pitchy pitchy. Um, I remember trying these when I was a kid. These are great. And this is uh, made out of cassava. And I believe some. Um, oh, that's interesting. So grated cassava, sugar, grated coconut, vanilla flavour, uh, setting stabiliser, potassium carbonate solution. Yeah. These are these are great. I always I always thought that these were made out of like glutinous uh, rice, about like sticky rice, but yeah, they're not. And uh, let's have a look here. Oh, this is one I'm sure it's definitely definitely made out of um, glutinous rice. This is what's known as uh, biko. I love I love biko. This is this is great. Really really filling. Um, ingredients here: glutinous rice. Yep. Uh, food color. Uh, sugar, coconut milk, beautiful, love it, really, really filling, um, really satisfied, really fills a hole, um, perfect thing, I'd be absolutely starving and to just need something that would just like fill that gap. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, this is called uh, Hopia, if you uh, have a close here, a close look here. So it's got one, two, three. There's four of these, okay. And um, this has got uh, oh onions. This is a savoury one, okay. So onions, water, yeast, flour, sugar, and butter. First time I ever heard heard of this one. I hope I hope he likes it because normally it's filled with something called uh, ube, but it's like a it's like a yam, it's, but it's the colour is like sort of purple. But um, yeah, I was in a rush to get this, so I hope he, hope he likes it. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got something called uh, puto. Okay, so there's, uh, there's, I think there's a jackfruit one, there's an ube one, and I think this is the pandan one. So you got, so this is the regular, but this is this here, this yellow thing here, is what is uh, jackfruit. This one here is made with ube, and this one here, I believe, is flavoured with pandan. Yeah, that's right. So it's uh, mainly the the, the uh, main ingredients of this is flour, jackfruit, ube extract. So I was right there. Uh, buko pandan and sugar and some vegetable oil and a little bit of uh, water. Okay, and uh, so I've got another another porter, which is like an ube one. Last but not least, I got another uh, something called uh, sapin sapin. We see, see that it's like it's got three layers there. One, two, three. I believe this is another glutinous rice uh, dessert. Okay. Again, this is made out of glutinous rice powder, sugar, coconut milk, uh, food color, milk. Lovely, nice sort of like uh, almost like a very sort of gelatin uh, type. Uh, Type consistency, but a bit harder. So you, when you when you bite into it, it's a bit more uh, resistance to it when you when you bite. Um, yeah, it's great texture, great taste. Yeah, you can't go wrong with this. Some of my personal favourites, and I hope he likes it too. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you, um, give you a little bit of exposure to some like Filipino snacks. Uh, if you have any questions, if I can answer them, please do leave some comments down below. Till next time, guys. See ya. Bye.